attention, ladies and gentlemen. Are you a virgin? Are you stuck in the friend zone? Are you ugly? Are you gross? I have found the man that will save your dating life. He'll find your women. He'll find your Sheilas. He'll find anyone and everyone that's attracted to you and he'll tell you how to pick them up and make them yours. No, seriously, I have found the best pickup artist on the internet. He tells you how to attract any woman and he is disgustingly hilarious to watch. It is extremely cringy. Now dating, love and relationships is very difficult. Here's my advice, very, very quickly. Do what I did. Marry someone who makes you laugh more than anyone else and is your best friend. Oh. I was so lucky to do that. Not everyone can have that. Some people end up marrying people like this insane woman. Uh, I blend my placenta into my fiance's smoothies. He thinks they're delicious. That's horrifying, good grief. But maybe we're going too far ahead of ourselves. I'm talking about marriage. You gotta get the girl first before you think about marriage. And back when I was an 18 year old, mate, there was like, there was no puss, zero puss. I was like a man allergic to cats, zero puss. If only I had this man and this video to save me. Oh, how different my life would have been. In this video, you're gonna learn three invaluable tips for how to lose your virginity quickly. I'm gonna give these to you as a personal favor. Gee. Thanks mate for this personal favor, wow. Now this is Joe and he's a part of a group called global.net, <laughs> sounds legit, who promises to connect you, uh, and it says this in the description, connect with wingmen in over 300 major capital cities across the world. Okay, cool, I look forward to connecting with the wingmen in those major capital cities, but first Joe, before we go anywhere, please give me some advice. Tip one for how to lose your virginity is to practice day game. One of the biggest things that guys who don't get laid, whether they're a virgin or not, have in common is- Is they're fuck ugly. They don't put themselves out there enough. Yeah, that's fair. You do need to put yourself out there, which is tough. I hope you give us some advice on how to do that. Most guys are just sitting at home. They're not being social. They're swiping on Tinder. They're, they're jerking off. They're DMing girls on Instagram. They're they're jerking off. They're, That's what they're doing, mate. All right, let's not beat around the bush. That. They're doing no, enough beating as certain. it is. So if you're a virgin and you're not winning at that game, the way things are, it's time to start playing a different game. Yes. What we recommend is that you start putting yourself out there. Put it out there. Getting outside, outside. in the real world and approaching girls in uh, college campuses if you're of that age. I'm glad you added that. I'm glad you added that disclaimer. I reckon you all should get out there if you're real horny men and start approaching girls at college campuses. If you're uh, that age, of course. Otherwise that would be weird. Shopping malls, busy streets, beaches, public areas and to start. Stop, stop approaching women on the street, all right? Most ladies don't walk out their door every morning going, right, where can I get some dick? Well, some chicks do, like your mum, Jared. Not everyone out there's name is Jared, but for some of you right now, that hit home. That really hit home. Like every man with your mum's cervix. Right in the cervix, Jared. Right in the cervix. Your mum's a slut. But yeah, don't approach everyone you see on the street, right? Don't go out there and creep on people. My God, these, this, he's got so many videos and this is his first bit of advice. Fucking hell. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a little sponsor that you might want to know about. This video is brought to you by Unlocked. Now, Unlocked is like no other app. It's the first sex positive app designed to match your kink or kinks safely without all the BS. Unlock celebrates your sexuality, whether you're as kinky as Lucifer or rocking the good old vanilla, whatever you want. With 26 different kink characteristics you can eliminate the wannabe Mr. Grey's out there whipping and chaining you up like bloody, uh, no good, no good, I'm not into that. You can get rid of them out of the algorithm and just find people who are into the same weird shit or good shit that you are. And the first thing I thought when I heard about Unlocked is, is it actually safe for people? But there is a three step verification process to really assist with your peace of mind and safety. And it also helps you leave your, your date on you know high adrenaline and not in a body bag, which is good. Now this is important, there's only a thousand founding members spots, okay? So to pre-register right now, use the promo code Butterfield for free registration and be notified when the doors open. All you have to do is head to Unlock 
unlockedapp.com. That's unlocked without the O and use the promo code Butterfield and you'll be there willing and waiting when things get slippery. <laughs> now, back to the video. Practice a day game. Approach women, give them a compliment. Try to build a connection. If there is a spark, Swap contact details with the view to going on a date. Listen, let me tell you this, let me let you in on a secret. No one, fem no female, dudes would love this, but if you're above a five, dudes would love this. No chick out there wants dudes walking over to them in the middle of the shopping or at the college campus and reading a script from this weird dude. No one. They will think immediately that you are the creepiest man to ever live. But I will say this, thankfully Joe has thought of everything, including this video, How Not To Be Creepy, an extensive guide from Joe Elvin. That's brilliant. In this video, you're gonna learn the four main categories of behaviors that women find creepy. The four main categories. Now this is a seven minute video, so I'll break it down real quickly for you. I wrote them down. Uh, one of the first main categories is staring into the bedroom window at night. Uh, that usually doesn't go down too well, okay? Putting your cock through the window also, also, also doesn't go great. Uh, the utilization of chloroform. Now, uh, in chemistry, maybe chloroform has its uh, potential benefits, but particularly when you're trying to meet a girl, if you break out the chloroform, that's usually a sign that you're not going to get sex. Well, you're not gonna get sex that they're into. Don't do it. Hiding under the bed is another category. Don't hide under the bed. All right, we're still writing these down. And of course, here's one that I always forget. I nearly got it tattooed on me. Uh, holding them to gunpoint. Not a great way to meet the love of your life. So thank you very much to Joe, who really inspired this list. Uh, you did great, mate. You're very much a very influential person in the sex space. I don't know, I just think that if you need a list on YouTube from a video with 400 bloody views, Joe's really not getting much reach. I don't think that you're gonna get any roots, all right? You're not gonna get sex. No one's gonna look at you. No one wants your throbbing little member getting anywhere near them. But of course, men aren't afraid of being creepy. That's not a fear for many men. The big fear is being put in the friend zone. Horrifying stuff. Luckily, your boy Joe has got a guaranteed way to keep you out of the friend zone. If you've been friend zoned by a woman, it's your fault. Oh. Behave, Joe. It's not down to luck. It's not one of those things. You th, th things, Joe. Have done something to make her categorize you as just a friend. You now, have made her drier than the Sahara. That's now, what Now there you've are done. some guys who never get friend zoned because they know what to never do. I'm one of them, and in this. Oh my God, Joe! You are sucking yourself dry, you big wanker. Jesus, all right, if you don't want to be in the friend zone, as I said, don't be ugly, don't be gross, don't be a creep, and you'll probably still be put in the friend zone, all right? But that's fine, it doesn't matter, it's okay, it just wasn't meant to be. Now the first thing is to make my intentions clear immediately. A lot of mainstream dating advice tells guys that they should be friends first with a woman and see if that friendship blossoms. Great advice, that, great advice. Walk up to her, make your intentions clear, and that's the best way to stay up to the friend zone. So as I, if I was Joe, I'd walk up and say, g'day, my name's Joe, I'd like to headbutt you with my cock in your suit. The second thing I do is I always create sexual tension, okay? Nice guys run from sexual tension, sexy guys aim to create it. <laughs> Replay that. Sexy guys aim to create it. Sexy guys, Joe! What the fuck are you talking about? And how does one Joe, in your peculiar little mind, create sexual tension? Okay, I've uh, made a whole video about how to create sexual tension. Another whole fucking video. Okay, I will watch that right now and I'll report back to everyone. Three hours later. Tip number one was this, hold, relax, eye contact. Ooh, you got a smolder. Ooh, she's gonna wet up. She'll be moister than an oyster. Tip number two was this, leave silence. Let her fill in the gaps in the conversation before you fill in her gap. Oh yeah. Tip number three, speak slowly because she may be retarded, which actually will help you land the sex. So that's probably a good one. Tip number four, don't laugh, be serious. That is so important. Making love is a serious matter. You stare at her, all right? And you be silent until she relinquishes her fleshy bento box. 
<laughs> if you don't know what a bento box is, look that up. That's a very funny expression. I'm gonna use that again. Flesh bento box, ooh yeah. Anyway, back to uh, avoiding the friend zone, shall we? Okay, this is why when I'm meeting women, um, I'm making sure that I'm only ever positive about kinks, fetishes, promiscuity, all of these things. Yep. I agree, being positive about sexual kinks is great when you meet a lady. Once again, it would go something like this. Hello, I'm Joe. You can torture my nipples and piss on my face. I'm up for anything. Also, I'll have a large almond latte. Thanks. Now, Joe has thousands of great pieces of advice for the virgins and the young men out there, but I found this piece of advice the best. So write this down if you need it, because it is Amazing. Also start dating other women, okay? Show her and show yourself that like, she is not your only option for true love in this world, okay? Now when she begins to see this, if she does, she may um, reach out and, and try to uh, win you back. Yeah, try to suck your dick. Yeah, that's what she'll do. Um, but if she doesn't, it's, honestly, it's not the end of the world because if you've been working on yourself, if you've been improving your masculinity, improving your game, most likely you're gonna start dating girls who are a lot better than her anyway. Yeah, yeah. If you can't get out of the friend zone, fuck that bitch. Yeah, it's her fault. Her. On that topic, I've got a book called Big Dick Energy. Okay, Joe, let's be honest. You've had enough screen time now. Can I just say this? You don't have terrible points about some of the things you say, like get back out there, yada, yada, improve yourself, but it's your delivery, mate. You sound like an absolute twat. Usually anyone who says they're gonna help you with your relationship has a terrible relationship themselves. They have no idea. It's that old adage, you know, those who can't do teach. And those that can't teach walk up to chicks on college campuses when they're definitely in their late 30s. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna know from you in the comment section, what's your best piece of advice for either dating or improving yourself to pick up either a, a nice man or a nice woman, whatever it is. Let me know in the comment section down below. And the best comment's gonna win a signed copy of my new book, uh, Big Clit Energy. Um, it's a great book. <laughs> Just like Joe's book, Big Dick Energy, my book, uh, Big Clit Energy, teaches you how to perform oral sex on female bodybuilders. So it's a great book. Make sure you go and grab it at Dimix right now. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Toodle au revoir. Bye-bye.